if you go buy an apartment building and you're not in a position to, to, to not have rent from one of your tenants for two years, then don't invest. Of your fight go wow. 760 and up, you know that's life goals. Wow. If your credit too low, walking on the tight rope. So yo, credit up, wow. you get your credit wow. up. Wow. Credit wow. up, wow. you get your credit wow. up. Wow. Credit wow. up. If you are low on cash and you are stuck and you still gotta pay bills, what do you do? What what do we do? I want y'all to let me know. If your if your income is stable, you're not making more money. But your, your expenses is going up because of inflation and the cost of goods. There we go. Lonnie just said it. Borrow or start to sell. We start to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. That's what we do. Sell, sell, sell. Right? Think about this. You're right. Things got to get cut. So if I'm driving around in that nice Lamborghini, I'm driving around in that Rolls Royce, I'm driving around in these fancy cars or whatever it may be because I was trying to keep up with the Joneses. Well, guess what? I'm going to sell that car. And then you know what I'm going to do, right? If, if, if you sell that car, you're not going to get it for the for what you paid for it because you're in a tough spot. So now somebody going to negotiate with you and say, yo, I know I know you said you wanted 70000 but hey, all I got is forty for you. You want to take the 40 because you need the money. You want to take the 40. That's the same thing that's going to happen with a lot of these houses. So many people are going to be stuck and they can't afford it. They're going to have to sell off their assets, sell off their houses, and they're not going to be able to sell off a top dollar anymore. So then you got to be able to come in there and sweep it up. You got to be able to come in there to solve people's problems. You got to solve people's problems. And then you go buy these houses. You get them for the law and you hold it. You sit on it. You got to be able to have that capital stacked up so you can buy all these assets and hold on until the market corrects itself. So that's all we doing. We, we, we stacking our cash. We building it up. We building our pipeline. So as the, the way we build our pipeline, we actually got to go out there and find motivated sellers. We got to find people in distressed situations. So there's a website that I use. It's called PropStream. PropStream. P-R-O-P-S-T-R-E-A-M. PropStream. It's a website that I use. And with this website, you can filter and you can pick by zip code, by county, right? By state. You can actually filter and you can actually pull the, the data for all of the self-storage facilities in that area. All of the apartment buildings in that area. All of the, every, anything when it comes to real estate, you could actually filter and pull that data. And guess what we do? We get on the phones and just call all day long. Hey, hey, Miss Jackson, my name is Ramel. Yeah, from Mogul Home Solutions, and I'm a local investor in the area. I'm just looking to see if you have any interest in selling at this time. You know, I just want to see if you have any thoughts. Have you considered selling? How can we solve your problems? How can we provide any solutions? We doing that all day long. This is the script. This is the script all day long. I'm giving y'all the game, but y'all got to execute. How many of y'all going to execute? If you want to execute, type execute in the chat in the comments. If you want to execute on what I'm telling you, type execute in the comments. You got to get on the phones. You got to speak to these people. You got to be the first one to solve problems. That's how it works. And then it's about follow-up. All like, like most of my deals come from follow-up, y'all. Like I did a flip last year and then that same owner called me up and said, hey, my mom is actually going through a tough time right now. Can you come and stop by my mom's house and see what you could offer on that day, on that property because of what you did for us before. So now I get deals all from follow-ups, just keeping good relationships, building that rapport. You can't speak to somebody once and then think they're going to sell you their house. You got to speak to them multiple times. So we got to follow up with them at least once a month, sometimes twice a month, and just say, hey, Miss Jackson, it's Rob Melligan from Mobile Home Solutions. I just wanted to call and talk to you and see how's your day going, see how's everything going since we last spoke. Are you interested in selling? I need everybody to type follow-up in the comments. 
If you execute and you follow up, you will be in position to find great deals.